Hey everybody, I'm Lionel Bienvenu at Denver 7. We're talking about the NFL Draft. You can watch it right here on Denver 7 at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. But to get you started, let's talk about what's going on right now. It's a virtual draft, right? The first ever. Roger Goodell is going to be in his basement. Take a look. He gave us a uh, preview of his basement setup here. Uh, reports are there's going to be some, uh, some booing, virtual booing brought in to make the Commissioner Phil right at home. Uh, we also found out uh, what the Broncos setup is going to look like. Uh, Broncos uh, tweeted this out with their uh, IT guys showing us Vic Fangio's setup at his house and John Elway's setup at his house as well. Everybody ready to go. All right, let's talk about the draft. We have our own Broncos insider, Troy Rank, and Troy is going to tell us what he thinks is happening and the latest on the draft as of today. Troy? This is going to be, Lionel, the most anticipated draft. Of course you're asking me about that Broncos pick. I believe they're going to go with the receiver. I texted with Drew Locke earlier today, and he said, hey, he wouldn't mind if they added some speed at that position. That's the nature of this when you've scored 17 points a game. So where would they go? Again, Indications are the Broncos are willing to trade up either with Cleveland at 10 or San Francisco at 13. If you're trading to 10 and they're able to pull that off, Jerry Judy would be the target from Alabama. To me, he's the most polished receiver in this draft. It really comes into how he gets in and out of cuts, his ability to play both on the outside at slot receiver. He is game ready right now. If they're not able to get up to 10, then you go to 13. Henry Ruggs should still be available. That's where the Niners pick. John John always had much great success trading with his partner, John Lynch, there in San Francisco. Ruggs is more of a straight-line threat, vertical. He can run the route tree, but initially he would be a guy you would look as a vertical threat, those post routes, also in the return game and on reverses, so that could be useful as well. A couple of other ones to keep an eye on. Justin Jefferson uh, from LSU, also Denzel Mims. I don't think CeeDee Lamb will be available. He's the third receiver when you talk Judy, when you talk Ruggs, you talk CeeDee lambs people order them differently but if the broncos move up and they go all the way to 10 jerry judy lionel would be the target all right troy well let's say the top three receivers are gone by the 15th pick and the broncos don't trade up to pick anybody and they sit at number 15 what are they going to do then why you got to be a buzzkill, Lionel? No trade, but yes, if they stay at 15, it's a tricky spot because they're literally right in the middle of all this, so you don't know how it's going to fall. But there is the best case scenario if they stay at 15 and Jerry Judy's available. There's been some concerns about his left knee. He had issues with in 2018. Nick Saban came out today and said, that's silly, that's ridiculous. He never missed a practice, but there's a possibility, slim as it is, he could float to 15. You could stay put and get the guy you wanted all along. Otherwise, if you don't like the receivers there, and I still think they could take a long look at Justin Jefferson from LSU, though he's more of a slot guy, not the vertical threat, but look at offensive tackles then. Andrew Thomas, if he were to fall. Jedrick Wills from Alabama, would he be available? The problem is there's multiple teams in front of Denver that need a receiver and a tackle. So the possibility exists at 15, Lionel, that n neither the receiver or the tackle available. Who would they go then if they stay? I would say C.J. Henderson possibly there, or you trade back maybe to 22 and get a receiver like Denzel Mims. So, but at 15, you got to be thinking maybe Justin Jefferson, but more likely a tackle. All right, All right so, Troy, uh, thanks a lot. And, of course, right we expect here. some uh, glitches, maybe some uh, virtual shenanigans tonight. Uh, Frank Caliendo, the comedian, showed us what might happen at the Raiders draft headquarters of John Gruden. <laughs> we might see a lot of this uh, later on tonight. Again, join us right here on Denver 7 for the draft. All three days of the draft are here, starting tonight with round one at 6 p.m. I'm Lionel Bienvenu. We'll see you later.